Olivia, thank you for doing this with us. Hello. Hey. Hello. We're going to go this way. We're going to follow behind here. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You're at my favorite park, the Grange Park. This means a lot to you, this park. Yeah, right? this is uh, a park that I have a lot, a lot of relationship with. There was some confusion online. Do you have a driver's license? I do have a driver's license. I even know how to drive a stick shift. A lot of cyclists actually, actually, whoa. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sorry. A lot of cyclists, in fact, have cars. Yes. So they choose to not drive the car because they prefer cycling. From like a driver's perspective when it comes to traffic and that too, like how are you gonna keep in that that in mind when, when you're when you're the mayor? If we drastically improve our public transit system, yeah. I think we can uh, have less congestion for a long time. Um, there hasn't been enough investment to public transit. And because it's aging, um, it needs retrofits. <laughs> we could get out on the road here. <laughs> when did you know you were going to win the election? Uh, after they, they declared that I was a winner. <laughs> There's no inkling before? I, yeah, you know, post polling numbers go up and down. So you weren't paying attention to polling numbers or anything like that? Not that much. Uh, I was busy connecting with people, I think, which is really important. So now I need as many people as possible connected and uh, help the city build housing. How do you get people back engaged in, in city life and city politics? Everybody has an opinion of how they could, what service can be improved. So inviting local residents to tell us what service can be improved, how we could do it, what kind of budget we could set because having more service means it might be a bit more money. And you mentioned property tax increase. I mean, are you any closer now to saying what kind of the increase would look like? No, because it's next March. We're not in winter yet. Wait, we're not even at fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to be one hot day. You're looking at next winter, uh, next spring, uh, which is usually when the budget gets approved. All right, and I don't want you to get caught in the streetcar track yeah, there. Yeah, I will die. Has that happened to you before, getting caught in the streetcar track? Nope. No, I've had that and it was not good. It, it doesn't end well. Have there been any of those moments the last few weeks where it's like, oh no, what am I getting myself into? Nah. <laughs> no, not no, at all. No, not at all. I'm looking for that opportunity. Because like, the city's in, in quite the state of disrepair, I would say, at the moment. Right? It's like, true, you can tell from the potholes. <laughs> I know, we've been biking over some of them. But do you, do you worry about failure? What does what no, fail? No, the challenge is immense, but the goodwill and the, uh, and the imagination uh, and the commitment to do better is also phenomenal. So yes, lots of challenges, but there are a whole lot of people with a lot of talents and uh, willing and eager to roll up their sleeve and get to work to build a better city. I'm looking forward to uh, working with them all. When will Trontonians be able to see your mark on the city? Let me become a real mayor first. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's probably a lot of pressure in these initial days. Like, oh, it's there, a, yeah. Well, I, I'm not the real mayor, I'm the mayor-elect. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, best of luck. Thank you. With uh, becoming mayor.